You probably found this video because you've been researching narcissism and you've seen the same terms, no contact and the silent treatment pop up time and time again. You're probably a little confused because they seem like similar concepts, so you're not quite sure when either should be used or what they mean as they relate to narcissism. If that's you, we're going to discuss what each term means and how each term is used as it relates to narcissistic relationships. Though both concepts seem similar, they're used for two totally different reasons. If you need additional training on narcissism, please check out my description box for more information. And now let's get straight to the video. So let's first discuss the silent treatment. In a narcissistic relationship, the silent treatment is used as a form of emotional abuse or control. Narcissists and other emotional manipulators use the silent treatment as a power play to take control. They use this as a punishment tactic to control their friends, partners, employees, co-workers, families, kids, etc. They will usually continue using the silent treatment until the victim of the abuse apologizes for some perceived wrong or acts in a way that pleases them. This is especially true when the abuser feels they are being exposed for something, which makes them feel humiliated or vulnerable. The silent treatment can be very powerful and upsetting since it invalidates your emotions and intelligence, making you think there must be something wrong with you or that you must have did something really wrong to cause someone to stop speaking to you. If your partner, friend, coworker, or parent is willing to ignore you without so much as a conversation or explanation as to why, it's hurtful, cruel, and even plays havoc on your self-esteem. Narcissistic abusers are never accountable for their actions or words. This abuse tactic is designed to make you feel insecure, doubt your worth, and cause you to seek out approval. The silent treatment is another form of emotional abuse that keeps the narcissistic abuser in power. It also allows them an endless supply of go-to weapons they can use against you whenever they please. Narcissistic abusers are not able to handle any sort of criticism, so the silent treatment is their way of shutting you down. It makes them feel powerful. To be able to sustain a healthy relationship with any type of narcissist, whether it's your father or your partner, you need boundaries. One of the most important boundaries in any relationship is communication. Because the narcissist uses the silent treatment to shut you down, they are violating the rules of healthy communication, which prevents healthy boundaries from being created. The silent treatment causes you to start questioning yourself, especially when the narcissist is using it as a punishment for something you may or may not have said or done wrong. You will be forced to reassess your actions and your words at every turn. And when they do start communicating with you again, you'll be forced to reevaluate what you say in the future to avoid any further negative reactions from them. You may feel as though you have to walk on eggshells or that you have to be perfect just to keep the peace. In a healthy relationship, there's no need for any of this because both parties respect each other's feelings and thoughts. Now, let's discuss the no contact rule. The no contact rule is used by the victim of narcissistic abuse. The no contact rule is a technique for breaking ties with a narcissist or other emotional manipulator. It's named after the fact that it aims to stop all forms of communication with the narcissist and sever all ties so they can no longer interact with you in any way. The difference between the silent treatment and the no contact rule is that you're not using it to control the narcissist. You're not using it to manipulate the narcissist. You're not using it as a tactic so they'll reach back out to you and tell you they're sorry or how much they love and miss you. No, no contact is employed so that you can heal from narcissistic abuse and to keep the narcissist from continuing to come back and trying to abuse you again. Let's be very clear. The no contact rule is not about revenge. It's about disengaging from the narcissist to create boundaries. Boundaries are good because they protect you and keep you safe. The no contact rule is not just for people who have been in romantic relationships with an ex that is narcissistic either. It can be employed by anyone that has ever had a relationship with a narcissist and it can also be used to stop the abuse of any kind of emotional predator. Now when employing the no contact rule, the first three to four weeks of going no contact are usually the hardest. This is when you're still in emotional turmoil and probably having obsessive thoughts, especially if you were in a romantic relationship with a narcissist. 
once those first few weeks pass, the rest of the time will go by more quickly and will get easier and easier as the time passes. As long as you keep yourself occupied by getting on with your life and engaging in activities that you enjoy. The no contact rule is not about controlling or manipulating your ex. It's merely a tool to help you get the distance that you need from an emotional predator so that you can heal and rebuild your life. The no contact rule should be employed until you feel like yourself again and are ready to fully engage with the world. The aim of the no contact rule is to give you the time and space you need to heal and recover. It is meant to break the manipulative cycle that keeps people bound to their abusers. Now that we have an understanding of both terms, we can see the main differences between no contact and the silent treatment. You should have noticed that one is used by the narcissist as a manipulation tactic to punish and control you, while the other is used by the victim of abuse to remove themselves from the narcissist and heal. If no contact was something you've been considering for some time, but you weren't quite sure if using this tactic was any different than the tactics used by the narcissist to manipulate and control you, I'm here to assure you it is different. No contact is designed to allow you to heal and restore your peace. The ideal of going no contact with a person who has been defined as toxic, dangerous, or abusive is your right. The term itself may sound harsh and even unwelcome to some ears, but no contact has been in the mental health field for decades as one of many effective tools to help survivors of abuse. No contact means a complete and total break from the toxic person. It's the tactic used to heal from narcissistic abuse and control your peace. If you're dealing with a narcissist, you have to continue to move on and continue to educate yourself about the patterns of narcissism. It will help you to continue to heal and recognize these patterns in other relationships so that you can proceed with caution. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to like and subscribe and check out some of the other videos below related to this topic. And now to the next video.